the masking tab allows you to apply side masking or a custom mask. Let's demonstrate. I'll choose one of my three files to work from. I'll enable my line mask and here I have my left, upper, right, lower or I can invert. So if I choose the left side notice I can pull my mask in and then I can tilt. You can do straight lines of masking. It essentially works just like blanking except for you can actually apply a keystone or an angle to that mask. You can invert when you're actually masking on screen to really fine tune exactly how much you're trying to mask out. I can do my right side as well. Now what's cool with this is that's set and that's enabled. I can also enable a bitmap mask. Bitmap masking allows you to do a custom mask. If I enable it, you can see that there is a star here. This is a file I've already uploaded. So if I go to file, you can see my star and it is a BMP file. Not just a bitmap, but this is a monochrome bitmap. A truly black or white monochrome file. That is all that really works with this. So once it's in though, I can move this around and I can resize it, which is quite nice. The main time I've used this out in the show world is if you have a circular set piece that they want to project into, maybe iMagro logo, instead of a switcher up needing to do a circle wipe or a circle key, I can just incorporate a circle bitmap mask into the projector, size it, move it around until it's right where we need it to be. And of course I can invert it to make sure that I'm getting this into the correct position on my set piece. It's as simple as that. I still have access to my line masking as well. A good feature that not many people know that it can do or utilize. And the best way to create just a monochrome bitmap file, in my opinion, if you have a Windows computer, just open up Paint and you can drop almost any file or shape into it and then save it as a monochrome bitmap.